embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I don't care if I'm an eater. I get paid thousands of dollars a month to do it. So who cares? I don't want to go to school. I don't want to be a teacher. Okay. So. All right, Chantel. Oh my goodness, girl. Mm -mm -mm. You are a wild one today. Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I stated yesterday that as far as Chantel and her eating content is concerned, I am finished with that topic in some ways. But I saw today she had the cafe on. She always puts it on when she's getting ready to rage and get angry with the whole of girl world. And today she may actually have quite a lot to be concerned about. Uh, she has had two creators from the UK who have pretty decent sized platforms release videos regarding her problematic behavior. And I'm just trying to figure out, Chantel, what have you done to people in Britain? <laughs> you have intrigued us, but not in a good way. So you've got the ire of some British dudes, girl, as we would say, or blokes, as I would say in my country. Dudes, because obviously I live here in the US. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, this is Ray, Life and Vibe. Did I say that? I can't remember. Goodness me. Let me just get my branding out. <clears throat> I can't remember because I'm like focused on this 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 interesting person here but we're going to go back to the live stream because she's mad at everybody today she's raging at everybody and obviously i'm concerned because she is continuing to show disordered eating she is encouraging self injury she is stating that she doesn't care that she's an eater that she makes thousands of dollars a month on youtube by creating this type of content and she is normalizing this type of binge eating and disordered eating habits. And so I, as somebody who is a registered nurse and trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, obviously have concerns more about the people that are influenced or are struggling with their own issues around food and food behaviors uh, more than I am concerned at this time about her and her personally damaging herself. But we do watch her do a lot of self-injury because when she is eating a entire pizza, though she said she did not eat the crusts, that she is blatantly ignoring the advice of her physicians and her endocrinologist who have advised her as a type 2 diabetic who is generally unmanaged and uncontrolled that she needs to be changing her diet and adding more exercise. But she just kind of, you know, puts her nose up to doing any of that. And so this is why I continue to react to Chantel in some ways. But I want to always highlight that she has obviously issues. So let me just get my disclaimers out <laughs> so that I can make sure that I fair use everything. And let me try to make this quick. I am going to speed her up to uh, 1.25, but I did want to also highlight very soon, obviously all the other creators that have released videos today about her um, so that you can go and find their content. I think many of you know Mr. Snowflake. Obviously this is a fair use. I am going to be transforming her content as always. Um, obviously disclaimer here that, uh, this is just my opinion. This is just commentary, even though I am in graduate school, uh, working towards my master's of science and nursing, I am not treating or diagnosing Chantel. I am only speculating on occasion what may be potentially happening with her. Um, so yes, uh, it's just speculation. And obviously it's very important, obviously with Chantel's content to always put out trigger warnings. And those of you who do have any, uh, difficulties around food, any disordered eating, um, anything that may happen that could trigger your mental health. I always say, please, please just click away. I'm okay with that. I'd rather you take care of you up here and love you. Okay. 
not worried about Chantel and her making thousands of dollars a month from YouTube because of her eating. I think that's really not a good thing. So let me just show you um, some of the people that will be, um, who've released uh, obviously their content today. So I'm obviously going to share this time. Uh, this is Mr. Snowflake. I think a lot of us are very aware of who he is. And he just released episode four of Foodie Beauty and her um, video about shattered reality. So that's episode four. That came out today. And right behind that, and I think the creator probably potentially was aware. So he is taking the advantage of obviously the interest around Mr. Snowflake's video today and having an opportunity to release his video. And that young man, um, just to show you his channel, if you're not familiar with him, um, this is Curtis Price. He's another gentleman from the UK. And he just released uh, this particular video, the YouTuber who became a beast for views, Foodie Beauty. And so if you're not familiar with Curtis's work, I suggest that you would pop on over there, take a look at his video, see what he says. And, and in a lot of ways, obviously, he's summarizing Foodie's story very um, kind of in a concise way and introducing her to a whole new audience. Um, so good job, Chantel. Good job today, girl. Good job. All right. Let's get over to her actual live stream here that she had today. I'm going to bring that up real quick. I'm going to make this big. I'm going to share this tab instead. All right, girl. I'm going over the stream yard now. Okay. So here she is. Oh, I thought I made that big. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm making it big. Yeah. I mean, we don't really care what the chat says, do we? All right. So yeah. She's uh, she's raging. She's got the, you know, her headdress on. <laughs> she's showing her, you know, allegiance with Palestine, which is fine. But every time she rages, she puts on the headdress. It's like, it's like every time. <laughs> it's a short fire sign that she's irritated and she wants to take it out on everyone. Oh, and she's going for air, all sorts of reaction channels today. I'm surprised she doesn't go for mine. I actually want to thank everyone because I got the 3,100 subs today. So thank you guys for that. Okay, I was going to think about going live on this, but my dog sometimes, when I start talking about Chantel, it freaks her out. My dog starts licking her paws because she's like, no, my mommy is all upset. But uh, it, she even has here a drama stream. And I did want to give heads up. I did actually report this video to YouTube because of the fact that she did state that she's an eater and she makes thousands of dollars a month from her eating. So, yep, that was reported, sweetheart. So, yep, yeah, I've just decided that I used to not want to report, but because I felt that that was me as a creator, kind of a line I should not cross. And then I suddenly started to look at just how much self-injury and how much harm she could be doing for other people and their struggles around food. And so now it seems to be this type of content either needs to be demonetized, especially for Chantel, who's so flagrantly disregarding her health on a daily basis and seems to be kind of proud of it. So... She's got some anger going today, so she's, you know, feels insecure, and she's going to take it out on everybody. So let's just speed her along. She's obviously got her plaque back here. This doesn't make a difference, girl. Where are your, where are your collaborations? Where are your sponsorships? Nowhere, because nobody wants to collaborate with this individual. Okay, Chantel, let's see how many of our reaction channels you can insult today. She looks irritated. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's starting the stream. It seems um, unhappy. Her body language is very, very telling. I am thinking at this time she has gone live. She has not introduced the live. 
and she does not have people just piling in to watch her content hey about her mike very Caroline. few people suddenly she first you were hey krista what's up long time no she jade paradox hello i look dead today I'm, i look so tired oh, please Ghost face. can we not just assault your nose like that on live camera thank you peace mike yes gemini gem love from karen hi karen you're feeling the look today thank you ghostface i'm very garbage hey it hides my tired eyes youtube lover hi nikki queen miss potato heads dry ponytail nicole williams hi kelly I don't know. You came on initially with no sunglasses on, and then you decided to put sunglasses on and make a drama about it. I think this is for attention. Putting the sunglasses on is attention seeking. So, okay. We've already got attention seeking. Well, everything about this is attention seeking. Everything. From Turkey. Charles, what are you doing? Mm. I'm super cute. Thank you, Bahar. Baby talk. The phone on the wall. I don't even know. It's to call the apartment, but nobody ever does. I don't think anyone uses that intercom system. <laughs> it's an intercom like the quality apartment. We're going into the desert? No. Why do I have this? Dreaming of Everest fashion icon. Sweepstakes. Boy. <laughs> Look at her little butt when she walks, her fuzzy butt. Hey, intro. Thanks, Katie. It's just my gel bab with the kafia. <laughs> I saw it on the couch. I was like, I'm going to wear that. I haven't worn it in a while. I'm tired. Yeah. Chantel, you tend to wear the kafia every time you feel like you want to rage about people. So it's very indicative of how you want to present your content when you come online. So when you go to your live stream and you name it drama stream, you put a sad face, you come out in the kafia, you are wearing the sunglasses, you're doing the baby talk. These are all things that you are doing to call attention to yourself and attention is what you want. So, and you're getting attention today. You're getting a lot of attention today and I'm sure you're just enjoying and savoring every moment of it. <sighs> oh, I don't know why that became small guys. I'm sorry. Let me get this back to being big. I thought I was pressing the button here. You're going to have my washer stream, going behave. I've been doing cleaning all freaking day. There's always something to clean. I hate it. <laughs> Hi, Tara. But I'm too proud. I'm too proud for a maid. Like I always say, okay, if I just get a cleaner, I won't ever have to worry about cleaning. But then I don't know. Maybe you would feel guilty if you were sat and watching somebody clean a very small apartment that you're quite capable of cleaning. Why? I guess if you're making thousands of dollars a month, you could afford to have that person. But I think that uh, you you probably see in the culture that people do have people come to these apartments and help with maintaining the homes because that was very common when I lived in Mexico City. When I lived in Mexico, I had a person who did the maintenance and housekeeping of my home, and I was extremely grateful for that. Um, I did not use that word that you used. Um, because that is a term that has derogatory connotations often. And so I think that uh, it's it's a way for you to feel elitist. And that's something that you want to believe you are. So that's just my thought. Let me let her go, because otherwise I'll be here forever reacting. You order pizza? <laughs> Dreaming of Everest, a swan buffet. Hello. Miss Moxley says hi to Julia. Julia. I'm sort of, I guess, going to be more interested in her language used against uh, the creators on the platform and in regards to anything to do with her eating and uh, disordered eating. That's kind of the language I'm focusing in on today. Uh, did you hear that? I just did some cleaning the other night and I'm doing more cleaning soon. Ugh. Eating whole pizzas takes work. <laughs> I can't believe I ate the whole pizza and I was still hungry. This is like, maybe if I go like this. 
you just said you ate a whole pizza and you were still hungry. That's because the pizza holds very little nutritional value. It's 3,400 calories of saturated fats, carbohydrates, very little protein, and probably elevated your blood sugars quite distinctly. And just not a very good nutritional profile. So I'm not surprised. It's kind of like any fast food. It satiates you for a moment, and then not long after, you're hungry again. It's designed to be that way. Think about it. <laughs> but this piece has to be cut. It's like all broken. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I do look like I'm going into the desert. <laughs> but this is how men wear them, too. Because in the desert, the sand will go in. Again, she's come out on a live stream. She's got no discernible thing to speak about. So she just wants people to, you know, tell her what a fantastic person she is. And, you know, to find solace with other people who may have the same disordered eating behaviors that she does. In your face. The person with the name, there's somebody named Chantel's maid. White pizza and Caesar salad. I've never had white pizza. Julia Gulia. What? There's a cat. These are friend. Nice sweet steaks. Hi, Wilma. How are you, Vanessa? Cleaning lowers your stress level. Hi, Yusuf. Synthetic. Mm. Actually, I still have dishes to do. I'm gonna go explore the pyramids. <laughs> Silliest of geese. How do you have dishes when everything comes out of a takeout box? <laughs> I guess it's like that big spoon and a the platter that you tend to use. I guess they're they're needing to be washed. Okay, live your truth. Yes. Hey Danielle. Mm, girl, speed this up. I cannot. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going out today, but I'll do more outings like maybe during the week because weekends is nuts. Like especially Friday. Chantel, I think today is the 14th of June, and in about three days, Kuwait is having big changes, and you're due for a visa run. So I'm very curious as to what the outcome of this is going to be, but I'm sure you'll try to mask your concerns through food, because that's kind of how you eat your feelings, it seems. It's too busy. Just beaten his sniping. I thought I thought I was one of the most vile people on the internet. So why are you watching it then? Freaking idiots. Mm. Hey, soda and sadness. I'm not sure yet what we're doing, mm. but probably I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's eat weekend. I'm not sure. Hi, Gracie. Homemade iced coffee. Wish I could make one for you. I could make one, I guess, if I want, but sorry, I have mascara in my eye. Am I keeping up with the boycotts? Yeah, mostly. I'm sure there's like a product or two that I'm not really aware of, but you know. <laughs> but the main ones, yeah. Mm. Girl. Sorry. I, this is why I don't want to wear makeup anymore because my eyes always get irritated. <sighs> mm. Well, they're not going to feel better if you keep touching those eyes. That could be potentially your retinopathy. Because you are seemingly unmanaging your diabetes type 2, as always. So, and you don't also probably wear glasses that are required. So, you're straining your eyes constantly. So, they're going to start to feel it at the end of the day. As long as you don't have a, an event in front of me, I'm okay. Oh, it was a while ago. Yeah, silly of geese. He's good. You're going to get pink eye? No, my hands are clean. Hey, Passion Tim. Oh, no, not Passion Tim. <sighs> yeah, that's right.
I'm also interested to see how she manipulates her audience with this content. Um, what type of manipulation styles is she going to use? Um, just curious. I'm starting to look more at what she is doing, obviously, and then how she promotes disordered eating. Uh, I've had people come into my comment sections who struggle with their weight and have found her content to be extremely dishonest, that they feel that they are not understanding how she can state that she's losing weight when she's eating the food that she does. And I just need to let people know that Chantelle, in my opinion, is not honest about her weight. Unless we see her on an industrial scale being weighed with somebody else holding the camera and it's all filmed with like five cameras looking at her, there's no way to actually believe the weight she is. When she went to the ER in Canada, that was the part of her chart that she blackened out. So she wants you to believe she weighs much less than she does. So Chantel's weight is not ever truly revealed. So don't ever feel bad about your journey and you're trying to lose weight because Chantel is not a weight loss channel. Chantel's channel is a channel to help support her disordered eating habits and to find other people who will be in tandem with her. So she has solace in her chat if they too are encouraging her because maybe they have the same disordered eating. So it's like birds of a feather flock together. So that's what it is. So don't think that she's doing anything that's remarkable because the only thing she's doing is remarkable is compromising her health on a daily basis. Yes, I still pray. Yeah, I got to change my makeup. No, it's, there's like a hair and it's bugging me. But yeah, my makeup is old. Well, come to love my deku. You like my palace, my uh, kofia? Thank you. It is very hot and quaint, Ray. I'm jealous. Open an eyelid and look down and move your eye around. <laughs> your profile picture. Yes. Welcome to that. I'm Sarah Jean. Some eye drops. How do I handle the heat? I don't go out in it very much. Yes, it is a fond buffet. Am I perfect with it and on time all the time? No, of course not. But hi, Rosalia. Health and healthy radiant queen, dandelion tea. Helps with water retention. I used to drink dandelion tea. I would need to see the studies about that. I do not believe that dandelion tea helps with water retention. And I, that is not Chantel's problem. Well, it would be probably uh, due to the sodium that she consumes, but uh, it's not water retention like because of other female issues. I should go make some tea. No, we're boycotting Starbies. But you know what? Camelitis. You know what? There are a thousand million different coffee shops here in Kuwait. There's no need for Starbies. All right. Are you going back to the pool? I kind of have pool ick right now. Even though it's clean, I just. <sighs> Public pools. I don't know. No inspectors came to our building. Why would they come to our building? Our building's not a labor camp. It's a family building. Start drinking it, dandelion tea. I don't even know if I can get that here. I have the strongest immune system. Yeah. Hello, Jay. I don't know. Friggin'. Yeah, I don't want to get sick like that ever again. Unfortunately, Chantel, because you do not change your lifestyle habits, your risk factors are still very high. I would say that you're probably not far away from, unfortunately, having a stroke. Smells around. Julia's in the curtain. Just because, and I don't mean that to sound mean. I just mean she has so many risk factors for having a stroke. She is obese. 
She has a poor diet that is heavy in saturated fats. She probably has unmanaged high blood pressure. She's an uncontrolled, unmanaged type 2 diabetic, which leads to metabolic syndrome. She also has had histories of having pulmonary embolisms. And so she has also smokes shisha. She is sedentary. All of these things are going to lead to an increased risk factor for stroke. So that's, she's not healthy in any, any, any means. She literally had to take a seat walking between one shop to another to have to have a rest to, to walk just from one part of a shopping area to another part says you're not very healthy. So I would not keep perpetuating this narrative. Thank you. Bye to the people. Great for exercise. Yeah. Hi, Mila. You're on your way to work. Actually, let's make something. Maybe a coffee. Mm. No, it wasn't Fufu Egg. All right. She's very slow today. I'm putting her to 1.5. She's a little too slow speaking for me today. She needs to be a little bit speedier. No, Brian, women can wear it too. No, he, we didn't watch Kill Bill Dreaming of Everest. Right now we're trying to work our way through the whole Saw series. And it's like, because we committed to it, I'm like, all right, I'll watch it. But honestly, I don't know why they made any more after part one. It's, it's like the dumbest series that I've ever watched in my life. I just, I can't deal. I've never tried fufu. Can you do a get ready with me video? Um, video or live stream? Maybe a live stream, yeah, I can. <laughs> they were hoping for me to be in the fire. Listen, again, morons, if I die, your channels die. Because right now you look like idiots. You have to you have to react to me eating a pizza because you have no content because you're idiots with no personality. So mm. if I die in a fire, you might as well kiss your channels and your incomes goodbye. You can't support your kids no more. I do not like the derogatory term you're using to describe other individuals. I find that to be language that is reactive. It also shows a lack of education in re in the sense that she's not able to verbalize her feelings about the situation other than using derogatory terms to describe somebody. I certainly would not hope for anybody to be in any type of dangerous situation. I certainly would not hope for harm to happen to foodie in the respect of having such a terrible event. I hope that the families that were affected by that fire in the apartment, that they're doing well. And my thoughts are with them at this time. So she's very angry and she has limited vocabulary to express it. So her way of She's trying to make the reaction channels sort of a, you know, she's basing that the, that, that the reaction channels have to, even I'm a reaction channel, um, at least a commentary channel, that, that she is state, I think she has too much self-importance as well. I, I guess I'm trying to get to. Um, she is using... Uh, she's assuming that without her being here, that these channels would not be able to find other topics to talk about. And maybe they wouldn't, maybe they would be happy to leave. Maybe the reason these channels exist is really to bring attention to the problematic behaviors that you have, Chantal. So I promise that, um, you <laughs> will potentially affect somebody's monetary gain for a short amount of time, 
But at the end of the day, the real person who's going to be the most affected is you. Adios, amigos. Hasta la vista, babies. <laughs> yeah, streaming of Everest. I'll do everything in my in my power not to. Why the boycotting? Because free Palestine, that's why. Why don't you put your YouTube button up on the wall? No, because I might want to move it, Mimi. So wrong for people to wish harm on you. It's because they're mad. Stay mad. Two fires, one in Thailand, one in Kuwait. <laughs> How are we a secret arsonist? <laughs> there wasn't there were other fires, uh, it's just not as devastating. There's always fires. I mean, the reason is, um, yeah, without me, they're nothing exactly. The reason is the temperatures are so hot, like literally, like cars will just like burst into flames. Things will just catch fire. A lot of these creators have professional jobs outside of their YouTube channel. YouTube is a hobby, as it is for me in some ways. Well, I use it really because I hope to bring attention to, you know, health matters and matters around mental health that need to be monitored. So my, <laughs> I, to say that we have nothing else is not so. I think you're projecting yourself onto the others because if your YouTube channel were to decline, you would be forced to have to look for work and you would be having people who would know what your history is because you've put so much out on YouTube. So I think it, having that, I would be cautious as an employer to have you work for me, especially since you seem to be quite antagonistical. That's how bad it is, you know? And, and and they still haven't proven me wrong. Don't do any content about me anymore and see what happens. Don't do it. Any. Do something else. Do vlogs. I did. I did another creator for a solid week and it grew my account and grew my money and it grew the number of subscribers I have. So that was the result I had. He actually, I get more views for his content than I do with yours, Chantal. So ju just saying that, uh, there are other things that you can make commentary around. You're not the only person. Reason for my focus on you is because you have encouraged disordered eating and that affects other people. And so that's why I keep focusing on you. But uh, as far as your health and what happens with you, that's your concern. My concern is that you continue to put out content that could potentially harm other people. That's my concern. Um, do anything else. Prove it. No, it wasn't an electrical fire. It started in the the building, like superintendent's office. I thought it was from a gas tank. No. <laughs> it's a hard challenge for them. Impossible. Exactly. So don't pretend. It's like wildfires we have in Portugal. Again, she likes a lot of sycophants in her audience. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. In Texas. Like, yeah, I remember like the bad fires in California and like, you know, it's just. Will you ever return to your health work? I don't think so. Electrical in the security office. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't read an update or whatever. I don't know. But whatever. It was really, really tragic and devastating. Like, imagine. Chantel, with the things changing in Kuwait, you may not have an option but to return to Canada. And I know that's going to kill your ego. This is all ego driven. So this is, we get to, just get to see Chantel's ego on display at this time. I'm sorry if I seem a little serious. I'm trying to listen to her and uh, make commentary more about what she's kind of projecting at this moment in time. And, uh, I, this is usually because she feels probably not in control. Oh, an electrical fire? Wow. Okay, so Fufu Egg was right. <laughs> Dreaming of Everest, yeah. When you don't stream or post videos for a couple of days, they right away have to pick up your old videos. Without you, they make zero money. Pretty much. <laughs> Levy. Um... Thank you. They're closing lots of basements. Yeah, I saw that Fufu Egg. Yeah, it's crazy. Soda, my day's almost over. Hi, ice cream. Hey, Lynn. Linda Marie. Sorry, Laura, that's my washer. 
Do they have porthos in Canada? I don't, I don't know. She's sniping and raging. Grow up. Just that's all I have to say is grow up. <laughs> it's so hot there. We need an ice cream mukbang or shaved ice. Sorry, I stepped away for a second. My dog gets very stressed out when Chantel comes on my video screen. So I had to go and comfort her. It's okay, Junebug. We'll be finished. We'll go for a nice walk afterwards. Okay. Your voice stresses my dog out and she hears me responding to you and she doesn't like that. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Shave would be good. Like who watches somebody religiously when they don't, when they don't like them, when they can't stand them, they have nothing nice to say. Like imagine your whole existence is, well, you know, like look at that person. Like who does that beyond being 16 years old and somebody who has kids and is supposed to be an example for another person. Get a in life. Rosalia Valentina, welcome to you. Very important research. Did you say bees? Welcome, Rosalia. Thank you. Can you snipe her? I don't uh, Well, we get to steal your views, Chantal. And the less that are watching you and giving you money, the better it is for the reaction channels. So we're not trying to give you those thousands of dollars so you can continue your disordered eating on this platform. I don't even want to listen to her. Will you volunteer help or financial aid to the people affected by the fire? Um, I don't think so. Actually, I think the government is doing that. They're giving like a bunch of rupees to the families. She's so angry. Time to log off and watch something else. Boo boo. You need to just ignore it. That's what I do mostly. Like you don't see me stream sniping or uh, reacting to everything these people do. Hmm. Sam Ham. Um, pretty much just did housework today. Lanky Annie, which I'm still doing. Now I'm watching the comforter. <laughs> Are we mall Chinese beezing? We're going to do it next week, the BBJ, because Eid is uh, right around the corner on the 16th. So the noise is not coming from my house. I guess that's her washing machine screaming <laughs> in the background. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay, keep <laughs> trying to sort of oh, keep this going quick because I don't want it to be too long. But obviously, it's an hour that she's here. So I thought about live streaming this, but I did not want to stress my dog out anymore today. She's always been on her best behavior the past year. I don't even. Want... They they don't rile me up, Barbara. They don't they don't like whatever you know. It's I'm just pointing out the stupidity. They say it's a rage. It's not a rage when I point. Whenever I point out something about them or like report, it's a rage. So then what do they do? You're gonna tell me that um, the ghoul over there is not raging every day? Like please. Hi, babe. Did you punch anyone lately? <laughs> yeah, they're bigger lol cows than the people they react to. Nice try. Please. Did I have nine evictions? Did I get arrested for beating up my grandfather? No. Actually, the only thing you can really, really say is the stupid Cuba rage, which was... No, but you owe a lot of money to the Canadian government for back taxes. And you've had, uh, I think, a couple of bankruptcies, maybe. And uh, you can't have, and you have no credit. So, I mean, nobody's perfect. So, this back and forth on who has had the worst history is just a competition that nobody wants to enter. <laughs> Almost three years ago, two years ago. And uh, what, the pumped up kicks thing? Mm. <laughs> I don't care if someone's smaller than me, bigger than me. It's not a effing contest. Why do people make it a contest? Like you have to validate your self worth through how much you weigh and compare it to someone else. Again, grow up. Chantel, you're the one who often says, "Just she's." It's difficult. She's very. If you hear her speaking, it's like listening to a like a fourteen year old discussing people she does not like at school. She's using. Lots of derogatory terms. Uh, she's name calling. Uh, and so it's, you know, interesting to hear somebody who's 40 years old uh, kind of go through these types of motions. Um, but that's uh, kind of where foodie is. So it just, it's interesting. It'd be interesting to see kind of really um, where possibly um, her growth stunted as far as her like uh, maturing um, like, is she stunted as a teenager? 
And therefore, she kind of never uh, grew past that. And that's why she finds it difficult to be an adult and take adult responsibility. I'm curious. Obviously, this is just me speculating. Yeah, I'm just living my life having fun. They're not because they want to see you do badly so they feel bad about it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Even if the worst thing happens to me, you're not going to see me, you know, for very long at least. And uh, my life is not going to be ruined. I, I move on. You know, I go with the flow. Chantel, with the risk factors you have, you could literally have a stroke on a live stream. I'm just, I'm being dead serious, <laughs> especially because you work yourself up too. So I'm sure your blood pressure increases as well. So you're not a very healthy person in more ways than one. That's how I am. That's my nature. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, Bali, exactly. People don't even give you a chance. People can change, become better, and truly have. Yeah, Rosalia, there's a lot of people, which I've learned, they don't want good for you. So that's why, like, I, I feel like I'm just, it's better to be private about a lot of things, you know, especially until things happen. And I can't remember. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure. She who charts last. <laughs> what kind of name is that? <laughs> I guess it's appropriate. Blumpy. Hi, golden girl. Don't waste your energy on people who try to take exactly metal face mark. Hi, Marguerite. You guys want to see the type of food I feed my BB gal? That's what we like about you. You draw a line and move on with your life. People are stuck in the past and rage. Exactly. Like, who cares about my past two years, two, three? Like, who cares? Even if, even like a year ago, you know? Like, will we see Howie? I don't know. Did you see the last one, Rosalia? I love your name, yeah. Okay, I got here for Julia. It's very appropriate. Atis cat. See the crown? That's her. This is chicken and vegetables. And this one is funny, this food, this one. Tuna and shrimp. It's actually just, there's little shrimps in the food. It's not just shrimp flavor. Yeah, it's the washer and dryer, sorry. I think at this point, the food that you choose your cat to have is irrelevant compared to the fact that you do not take her to the vet for proper care. So everybody understands you're not a good pet owner. And I think the lack of care you show your animals is indicative to the lack of care you show your own health. So you can kind of put this persona on Chantel, but underneath you're a very insecure individual, in my opinion. Hi, Ava. Two years ago, I was a lot different than now. Resistance but you know, I wasn't a co I was a mess, but I also had a lot of fun in my life and still had a good life, you know. Babe, is there any threat to what Shark says? I don't some believe that somebody who's actively using uncontrolled or sorry, <laughs> uh as in street drugs <laughs> is not living your best life. So as much as you want to say you were having fun, you were active in addiction at the time. You just changed one addiction for another, from the food to the rugs. That's kind of how you just move through life because you have very few good coping mechanisms. You really don't have any coping mechanisms that I can see that are healthy. Your coping mechanisms all seem to be very unhealthy. And uh, that's why you have damaged your health probably quite poorly. <sighs> Lack of coping mechanisms. Um, name calling. Uh, immature behavior, just in my opinion. Skinny Queen says she can take you from me. <laughs> you get back what you put out. Just keep living positive and putting up positive energy and it'll come back. Their days are coming, especially flab and scam. Well, that's true. That's exactly it. That's why I, I don't want to go low like that and be like, you know. Uh, I, anyway, I don't even feel that kind of hatred for any of them. So for me to say, I wish you would die. I can't wait for you to die. That's not me. And I, I'm, I feel more fortunate no matter how many more views they get. I don't care because I don't have that disgusting poison within me and hatred. And I don't have that karma of wishing somebody dead. So it doesn't, I don't care. You know, if somebody wants me to die, I don't give a shit. Like, honestly, <laughs> I'm just going to keep on living and making them mad, I guess. You know, like, want to talk about raging. I mean, you know. As I've stated, Chantel, due to the number of risk factors you have, you will be shortening your lifespan. That's just science. I, I don't know how else to explain it to you. 
you have many risk factors for having a lot of potential events, stroke, coronary events, pulmonary embolisms, all of them. So if you continue with how you uh, eat, uh, have your lack of physical activity and smoking the way you do, and I know since you took cocaine, you already did damage to your heart. So there you go. Dr. Phil is a freaking idiot. Past behavior predicts future behavior. No, he doesn't. I always give him human food. Mm, Julia not, not, not really. Don't give animals We had good food. times, yeah. Your haters are miserable. Imagine being 70 and using a pig toy that winks to make fun of them. <laughs> oh my God. I just imagine like when my grandmother was alive at 70, what was she doing? At 70, actually, she did a lot. She took like ceramics courses. She would never, ever say anything mean about anybody. Um, she was into like, uh, she, she had a florist degree. She did a lot with her life in her older age. Imagine being online, making fun of someone's weight as if that even, like as if that even, I even care that you, that you think I'm fat and gross. I don't give a crap. You know, like who gives a crap what friggin' uh, Reverend Kane thinks about me? I know I saw that, your mama, on your stream. You're like, you are the most disgusting person. It's true. It's true. Wishing death on someone. And it's like, they just, it's so normal. It's like, you know, oh well, whatever. Here comes pot stirring, yo mama. <laughs> oh well. That gives us sleepy vibes when she talks. Someone said she sounds like a long fart. That skinny queen sounds like a long fart when she talks. And I just, I can't, that, that's the funniest insult I ever heard in my life. Mm. Six pack plans. Well, we'll see, inshallah. It, it's so funny, yeah. <laughs> Babe. Anyways, people are so obsessed with other people's weight, you know? I have some, I have a whole bunch of little things on the couch I have to clean up. I always, there's a corner of the couch, I put all my stuff there. So freaking. I know, I know. Where is she? I want her to peek her head out because she's so cute. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? 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 What are you doing? What are you fell into my trap? Fell into my trap. She's <laughs> that cat looked extremely uncomfortable that was highly performative and for your audience the cat was very uncomfortable juice yeah exactly rosalia i'm not eating anything yeah exactly dude Julia, she's sniffing the cans. You had your chicken and shrimp. I just gave you. Show the people. My biggest haters used to compete for your undying love and attention. They got rejected. They fired up their YouTube channels. It's true. Yes, it is, Lanky. It's so cold in here. I have it on 19. Thank you, Kimberly, Julia, Julia. I call her Juice. 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 <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Hi, Juice. Hi, Juice. Juice. So I guess as more people into her chat and more people tell her things about how she's correct, how she's a good person, how the other people aren't good people, she's getting more energy on from that. So she looked, you know, she's getting, and the, then the baby talk is increasing. The 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 voice it's 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 excited in my mind because she's getting validation from her audience at this time. So she's being validated that her thoughts and concerns about reaction channels is is true. So she's enjoying the validation. She gets validated through her chat. Hey, Juice. This is my nickname. You're not having more. I still call her food butchers, even though we, didn't, we don't give her that anymore. We give her ad as cat. She likes it better, but I call it butchers. <laughs> she heard the rattle of the bag. Headgear. It's called a kafia. Jimmy Juice. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Juice. No, it reminds me of the cat, of my other cats. Why don't you explain the significance of the kafia? It's often used to show support for the Palestinian cause. 
Yasser Arafat always was wearing his. Why don't you take an opportunity to educate people around the use of the headdress? Christine, I just looked her up and they all say they don't care. Yet they're they're sad and focused on you. Yes. Mm. Or they'll be grossed out by my mukbangs. Good. I hope you are. Then they, they, they watch them. It's like they have no choice. More gross ones to come. Like, here's an idea. If you're grossed up. Well, that's good to know because I will have more reports to send to YouTube about your disordered eating. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. It starts to help me build my case about why your content is not appropriate for this platform. So thank you. I appreciate that. And no, I could not watch your eating yesterday. It was difficult and not something that I would want somebody who struggles with disordered eating to even have to experience. So my I'm not concerned about you. You are a, you're an adult who has the right to choose how you wish to live your life. My concern is for younger people who are impressionable and think that your eating is normalized. And you not admitting to the fact that you have a lot of health issues that you do not control or manage is also a problem to me. So you're giving out a false narrative about your weight, your health, and your lack of control when it comes to food. You also take time to deride people in the mental health field. I'm not saying Dr. Phil's good, okay? but probably any type of mental health professional. And so it shows a lot of immaturity on your part. But it's interesting to me because I'm, you know, coming at this from a different lens and just listening to her trying to keep being validated by her audience and her viewers. For her like mukbangs and you don't like eating sounds, don't watch a mukbang. Yeah. The difficulty is, Chantel, is YouTube actually has terms of service regarding disordered eating content. And you have openly admitted many times that you have difficulties with food. And so your self-injury in how you eat and then show that content on a public platform is concerning. And there are studies that indicate that people who watch, <clears throat> pardon me, that type of content could be led to eat more. So my concern is not around you. My concern is around the people who consume your content, if that's a word to use. Yes, Elisa, please. <laughs> I don't know. I was really hungry, but it, I didn't eat the crust. If you, don't, if you notice when I would get to the crust, I would just cut it off. I didn't eat any of the crust. So maybe she's been spayed, maybe not. I, I've decided not to talk about my pet care online. It's no one's business. They don't get the appeal of ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. I don't know. The crust is, I don't like the crust. It's not. Hmm. Sounds like an aircraft taking off. Yeah. Hot dog eating competition. No. Would it not, oops, sorry, <laughs> it's not very considerate to your viewers that you decided to put your washing on knowing that machine was going to make a ton of noise and then you went live. There are a lot of people that have misophonia and you obviously are disregarding their concerns about that. So, I mean, but I'm not surprised when it comes to Foodie and her content, she rarely considers anybody else other than herself and what she needs at the end of the day, this is all based around what she needs. And then she can also help validate those who potentially struggle with the same disordered eating that she does. So it's again, birds of the flavor flock together. She's got her little group of people just telling her, yes, what you're doing is right. And if they do question her, uh, she'll pick some choice words for them. <laughs> It's the spin cycle. Sounds like your machine's too heavy. We ordered a pizza last night after watching your video. It looks so good. <laughs> it was good. I haven't had pizza in forever, but I'm good for a while on the pizza. Because honestly, it's like one of those things that... Actually, this pizza didn't hurt my stomach that bad. I think it's because there's not. It wasn't, there wasn't too much cheese. Julia looks healthy, well taken care of, exactly. 
Heart to okay, surgeon. Okay, I'm finishing off my box of Tide, and then I have that 3 kg box from the UAE I gotta use. It is my washer, yeah. Hey, Charles. Are you washing everything because you know you need to get out of the country? Just asking. Because you do have a visa that needs to be renewed. As much as you don't want to admit to the fact that you're not a permanent resident or any type of resident and you're on a tourist visa, you play house, but you just play. It's not a reality. You are creating a false reality in your channel. That's not true. So, but I think that's kind of how this rolls with her. It's a false reality. This is a false reality. And she has to live it through because she set this, this precedence. Yeah, Tide, it's strong, so. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. The pizza wasn't, like, it wasn't thick, you know, and it was just, like, I didn't eat any of the crust. But I was pretty full after eating all that. I, I ate it too fast. Well, Angel, oh, thank, you, <laughs> thank you, Angel. Thank you so much. Mm. I appreciate that. Shift on to Zealand. Do they have a little Caesar? Yeah, they do have them, Kimberly. Are they good? That's going to break soon. <laughs> no. They only make fun of you when you backtrack and go back on your words. It's a joke. Give them any. Go back to my words. I'm allowed to change my life and my course of what I want to do in my life as many times as I want. You know? It's not like I'm uh, doing something super uh, that affects anyone's life. Like, yes, I'm, you do. I don't want to talk about my diet. Anymore. Yes, you do. You being out there with that pizza yesterday, whether it was called ASMR mukbang or however you want to sort of spin the narrative, your content is harmful. It harms other people. There are studies that show that people who who watch other people doing mukbangs on social media can have higher incidences of disordered eating. And in fact, watching people binge huge amounts of food can lead to increased binge eating from others. There are studies that show that these individuals have higher risks of suicide, higher risks for self-injury. So yes, Chantel, at the end of the day, though you do not believe you are harming anybody, your content does harm people. It's just, a, it's just, that's what the studies show. So you can try to downplay it, but unfortunately there is research that's starting to be conducted in this area in the field of psychology. So I know you don't ever want to think that's true, but that's just how it is. And YouTube supposedly has terms of service around this. And so it's really imperative to keep highlighting how this creator is having content available that is going to encourage self-injury and potentially lead to these people having health consequences because of it. And so, yes, that's a problem. Anymore. Oh, well, you know. For people who say you have no life, okay, what are they, what are you doing? Yeah, really, like how many times have I traveled? These people sit on their couch behind an avatar and fart and just talk about nothing. You know what I mean? Kuwait good, Stu Halls. Yeah, maybe. Sent for your watching power. Why would you lie about eating the crust? I didn't eat the crust. Do you want me to show you the crust right now? I still have it in the garbage. Let me know. All right. And she is so infuriated that she has to just demonstrate. All right, so and sadness. I'm going to prove to you right now. But doesn't prove anything. <sighs> is that two this pizza? Is pizza. Okay. No, that was yours. And he's not fat. <laughs> and, whoops. Ew, there's a lot of garbage in here. But there's the crusts. All the crusts. Oh, girl, that was in a garbage can. You're saying it's filled with other garbage. You're touching it, and then you're probably going to touch your eye. Do you understand the level of how this is just very immature that you literally walk to your trash can and grab the pizza box with trash to show people that you have some type of control with your eating, which you do not have. 
So you've not proved anything at this point except the continued immaturity that you have. It's fascinating to watch in some ways, but boring at the same time. <laughs> you can match it up to my teeth in the video. All the crust. There you go. Well, that's not... <sighs> Validating, feeling Basically, validated. I just put like a whole bunch of other garbage, like tissues and that from the mukbangs. That cheese slice in there too. I'm gonna put mm. it in the big garbage bag. Ah, <sighs> just. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't. I didn't eat the crust because I didn't. I wanted to eat like more of the pizza, more room for the pizza. That's the last pizza. Oh yeah, sure. This is why exactly why we don't show our marriage certificate because people are just gonna make up some other bullshit that it's made that it's just photoshopped. Blah 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 blah. I ate my whole pizza with the crust, yes. What video? My pizza video? You don't see me eat one crust. Hi, Teardrop! Yeah. There were jump cuts around the crust, yeah, because I didn't want people to be like, you're wasting it, you know, whatever. <laughs> yes, I will do a lot more videos of Kuwait life, yes. Don't worry. <laughs> I have lied before. Like, things like this, people think, they make me sound like a liar. Yeah, okay. Do you ever visit avenues? Not yet, H. Alt. <laughs> Mini. Unfortunately, Chantel, because you do put your whole entire life out there and people have caught you in lies, you're not considered to be a truthful person. You lied to your audience that you were moving back to Canada at the end of March. Should you forget? At least we forget. And started up that PayPal asking people to make donations to an apartment that you were supposedly getting in Canada. Because you were going to go back and work on your health. So it's difficult to trust somebody who has been caught changing her mind, as she likes to call, call it, but caught lying, caught being dishonest. And unfortunately, you are considered to be dishonest. So people aren't going to ever trust what you say because you don't follow through. That's what makes people know not to trust you so you really have to look more inwardly about that but she's not capable she doesn't have the ability to do that she in my opinion <laughs> i will i will dig up trash yeah yeah the merit it, it is personal exactly yeah it's not anyone's business my old videos cheese is too bitter i don't feel comfortable to eat in front of the camera yeah that's true babe the crust with marinara sauce. I should have got a dip sauce for it, but no, I just I wanted to fit in more of the regular pizza. I don't know. That's not true because he's been filmed eating in Thailand. So that's just him helping validate in case you actually ate two pizzas. <laughs> because everybody knows that Little Caesars is a two for one deal, at least in the United States. I wouldn't touch that pizza. It's <laughs> well, I wouldn't touch it anyway, but. <laughs> least of all little caesars Not just lack of just fat saturated fats carbs sugar salt it's nothing in it go there soon it's a good walk yeah it's huge nothing, it's a nothing huge walk. There's four phases, you know crust dipped in soda what no way be right back lost sound oh no okay golden girl cheese crust who wants to waste mental energy on whether someone ate the pizza crust or not? I can't. I know, Katrina. Normal people know. No, normal people don't. Doesn't bother me. It's not my pancreas. You should make sushi mukbang sometimes. <laughs> I did do one, Rosalia. Yeah, but there is a, one of my favorite sushi places I haven't had in a little while. Pizza bones. That's cute. What do you want to know about Middle Eastern living? She won't be I don't know yet, answer. HL, for Eid, what we're going to do. Are you doing anything? You have stalkers that try to make coin off of you. That's all. You're very normal. Yeah. Thank you, Samantha. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean. Uh, Samantha, I would like to know what your diagnostic tools are. So you're once again being validated in your chat, Chantel. None of these people are mental health professionals. So they are, again, people who may potentially struggle with the same issues that Chantel struggles with so I she just needs validation constant validation from her chat 
I have even more normal lives than most of them. If I ever sat around worrying myself about how much pizza someone ate, I would really have to rethink my priorities in life. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza bones. No, I don't like sashimi. Cooking videos? Maybe. Just to spend more time than you within her own children. Yeah. Yeah, I heard she did an emergency stream at night talking about uh, me eating pizza with her whole, like, behind an avatar in her 300-pound self acting like she never eats pizza. Give me an effing break. Give me a break. And no, you don't only eat two slices because you don't get to be the way you are from eating only two slices. Chantal, if you were deep in your own life, you would not have any idea what these reaction channels said about you. But you're being able to say so much about what they say about you leads me to believe that you consume a lot of their content. So you're not being completely honest. If you were so engaged in your life, then you would not have the time to be involved with what the reaction channels are doing. It would just roll off your back. But you're somebody who pretty much is... 24 7 inside of that apartment in Kuwait you occasionally get out but not to the extent that most people probably get up and leave their house throughout the day so you are limited you're not you don't have friends out there literally your audience are your friends if, you, if for want of a better term and they're your validators but these are all parasocial relationships. They're not real relationships. You you grasp that concept, correct? These people are fair weather friends, if you may. Pizza in? Is that in Kuwait? Pot pie. Eggplant parm. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. There's nothing wrong. The only thing wrong with her being 300 pounds is that she, she does emergency streams of me eating pizza at my weight. And she talks about my weight. Yes, we will take the necessary measures to the competent affairs regarding this in the USA. Regarding what? You can find some good deals. Yeah, I know, H. Alt. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> it's on Talibat. Biggest cultural shock? I didn't really, wasn't really shocked about anything here, actually. Mostly just the heat. Who's in his alarm set up through her house, blaring? When you come live. Oh, revenge porn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Um, yeah, I have allergies. What was I going to say? My stickers? Hi, Kiwi. So that made me comfortable. Yeah, Rosalia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll never forget what you did for me, babe, before I came. Like, <laughs> he just had a bachelor, but he made it so cozy for me. Got a new bed. No, I don't know my neighbors. Um, we didn't say we we're going to summit Everest, ever. What? <laughs> um, 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 what was I talking about? I can't remember. Sorry. You weren't talking. You were complaining about the reaction channels, Chantel. So look at her, like, shifty eyes in there a little bit, trying to figure out. She comes out with no plan about what she's going to talk about. She just comes out and starts talking, hopes that people probably join her on the live stream, that she'll get some super chats, some super thanks, maybe a few new members. It's, it's, it's a way for her to hopefully... She she used to go out live and people would just send her money constantly and she could be very rude to people uh, and just take their money. Now people aren't really sending her the money they used to, but she's going to push this live stream for an hour and probably hope that somebody at the end of the day will send her some money. And obviously she'll get views from, the, from this content being monetized. But uh, I'm happy when I don't hear a lot of money being sent her way. Because it's less money for her to in, um, engage in her disordered eating behaviors. No, I said I wanted to go to the base camp. Oh, yeah, they can be heard sometimes, yeah. You know, no, sometimes the, the kids have started the playing in the hall. Girl. We know it is. It's good Why to does have everyone want me to make girl. friends? Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> like, people were like, you look so lonely going out yesterday. No, I like going out by myself. I like to be alone. Like, and I'm with, I'm with you guys. 
500 people, you know? No, those are people watching your content. These are not your, that's parasocial Chantel. Okay. So you need to remember this is not where you should be getting your energy from these complete strangers on the internet. Because unless, I mean, as much as we, you may see them regularly in the chat, and I feel the same way about my audience when I live stream. I love the, my community too. But they have their lives, I have my life. I'm not going to go to them and say, hey, can you help me with this? That's just, that's, no, I have to have my friends in my IRL in real life. So, no, this is parasocial, sweetheart. You need to kind of understand so you can rationalize that in your mind somewhat. Just my just my thoughts to help you understand um, the dynamic between you and your audience. Very manipulative. <laughs> that began. It depends opinion. whatever I eat the rest of the time. If I want to go out and meet people, I, I would, you know. No, I'm not interested in joining any support group support groups. Yeah, we have gone to the Kuwait Towers. You could see it on our couple's channels, one of our first videos. I feel like once you go once, you know. Joining a support group or any type of therapy would mean that she would actually have to reflect inward and reflect upon who she is as a person. And for a lot of people, that's uncomfortable. They don't want to take an inward look and see potentially where their behaviors could be problematic. And as you can tell, Chantel is very treatment resistant. And so it is very Nice that her audience is trying to encourage her to take better care of her mental health. But unfortunately, people, in potentially um, the types of personalities that Chantel has, are very treatment resistant. She's treatment resistant for her medical health, and she's very treatment resistant for her mental health. Because staying cooped up inside an apartment all day, I would think over time, would be uh, very detrimental to anybody's mental health. No real friendships. Uh, the one person that's in her life is somebody that she is paying potentially to have a relationship with as far as he's there for her. It's very symbiotic. Uh, there's questions as to whether this is a love match. <laughs> as everybody knows, I'm, I'm being serious because this is serious stuff. And I usually come out laughing and everything else. But to me, now that I'm kind of getting more into my field, I start to see how problematic somebody like Chantel is in the world of social media. It's interesting. And I think it's still something we're going to have to navigate as a population and understand how we set boundaries from content such as this. Obviously, I don't feel any personal um, distaste for Chantel. I do feel that she does do things towards animals that are harmful. And so that is something about her character that to me says a lot about who she is as a person at the end of the day. Just, just a lot about who she is as a person at the end of the day. But again, the people probably going into her chat are probably people who have disordered eating and again, they want to find solace because they see this person doing it and then it's validated their own behaviors. So she's just kind of perpetuating this cycle and encouraging others to be uh, disregarding their health too. So, uh, I mean, it's just they're finding each other, you know, but unfortunately they're finding each other on a monetized YouTube platform and not behind a paywall. And that's where I think she needs to be, behind a paywall. Do all the content that you want behind the paywall especially the monk bangs they're people very more horrible. social in canada i might have been more social i had like more people i could be around in that but i'm not really that social anymore like well like social how like just going to like bars and stuff like that can't stand me no having a friend chantel that you do activities with is what i think they're referring to for example, on Tuesday, I went to the beach with my friend. She and I, she was getting ready to go out of town. She and I hadn't caught up for a month, maybe. We'd just been busy, work, life. And at least once every, once a month, we try to catch up with each other. With another friend, I just went over to his house for a party for Memorial Day. 
and other events. So I think that's what they're referring to. And I have very, you know, it gets harder as you get older to make friends and your friends get busy with their lives and people get busy. But I think they're referring to actual friends that you have activities with. But you're a very caustic person. So I think it would be difficult to be friends with you, in my opinion. You would not be pleasant to be around, in my mind. Being around people. And you can't yeah, do I mean, like, I don't know. Because of your health. I don't think there's anything wrong with just going to the mall by yourself and having, like, you know. Especially if I'm live. I'm with all you guys talking to you guys. It's fine by me. No, that's I not right. Me too. See, yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. Not that big flan buffet, no. They have, like, a couple, but they're small carnivals. You know? Yeah, I'm sure they do hot tea. All the parks, like a lot of the parks have sprinklers. Not all of them, but like the Al Shaheed Park has sprinklers and stuff. The cute camels. Can we not keep yawning, please? <laughs> that might Thanks, be part of a, that accident. actually could be her cardiac disease, potentially. Barbecue chicken pizza. Really, Rosalia? Has anyone ever recognized you in Kuwait? Um, yeah, a couple people have, yeah. They're like, I watch your videos, your streams. <laughs> Thanks, Lanky. Mm. Okay. I am happy. I'm very I'm very grateful for everything I have in life, you know. Um I'm just curious what you have. Yeah, I don't know. This would be interesting if she can actually name the things that she's grateful for. I'm grateful for my dog over here. <laughs> I'm grateful for the friends that I do have. I'm grateful for my health returning. <laughs> I'm grateful that I'm going back to school. I'm grateful that I have a career that I can find work uh, in without too much difficulty as a registered nurse. There's always a need. I'm grateful that I have two college degrees. I'm grateful I speak Spanish. I'm grateful that I have this condo and roof above my head. I'm grateful for the food I eat. <laughs> what are you grateful for, Chantel? Let us know. Please, I'm interested if she can list anything. So let's hear what she says. You have to be happy with what you have. If you're if you're gonna if you're gonna wait, choose to wait wait off on happiness um, until, I don't know, let's say to become very rich. If that's what you're going to base your life off of, I mean, stupid. Let's face it. How, what is it like one person of the world is super rich? Like that's not, you don't, that's not needed to be happy. What's needed to be happy is, a, you know, a lot of other things like Girl. gratitude is really, really goes hand in hand with happiness. I still have depression, but it's not, it's not as bad, <laughs> you know? It, it doesn't feel the same here. I don't know why, but it sounds like a vacuum. Oh, I'm going to Sean Pellets up the garbage haters online. That's true. You, you had, this is, this is the nurse coming out of me now that she had her hand in that dirty pizza box and she's literally touched about it's, it's, it's every orifice in, in her body, her eyes, her mouth, her nose. Uh, very uh, interesting. Um, And she did not, mention one thing that she's grateful for so are you she talked about money <laughs> so and then she talked about having gratitude but she did not mention one thing that she's grateful that is in her life so that was interesting interesting to hear nothing sure, yeah. interesting to hear nothing <laughs> helps be financially secure yeah But even if you have a little, you can still be happy. It just depends, you know? Because financial security can look like many different things. Like, you know, it doesn't mean you have to have all kinds of possessions. Like, I don't care about that. Okay. White rice consumption. <laughs> Scrape quote, my oh, happiness depends on the white rice consumption of, a, of YouTubers. Mm. <laughs> they all have real jobs, my ass, fart and short. Nice delusion. Hi, Tiffany. What if she snores at night?
Oh, so that makes them better people than Fart and Shard that they went to school and became teachers. So that's even more embarrassing, Fart and Shard. If Milk Tea is a teacher and she's sitting there criticizing how I cook my food, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Milk Tea is very respectful when she talks about your content. Her perception of you is actually a lot of times quite accurate. Um, and everybody, you know, has the right to perceive things as they wish, uh, to denigrate what she does for work is a sign that you potentially are not happy with what you do not have as a career. You never would be able to say you're a teacher, you're a registered nurse, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a firefighter. And you spoke about being doing i guess like an administrative type position where you took minutes in a meeting and that you had difficulty understanding the language that was used by the physicians and so i think that your lack of skills you're now taking it out on other people but i mean these are just my opinions this is just my commentary but again she's <laughs> she's going to have to criticize other creators um, to validate herself again. So, and again, she is indicating that she obviously consumes the content of these channels. So if they didn't really affect you, uh, foodie, my, you know, you're, you're showing quite the opposite by being quite versed in what they are doing and saying about you. So you're telling on yourself. You say you don't pay any attention, but you're obviously paying a lot of attention because most of this live stream has been about criticizing reaction channels. No, that's kind of how you go, girl. <laughs> that's embarrassing. I don't care if I'm an eater. I get paid thousands of dollars a month to do it. So who cares? I don't want to go to school. I don't want to be a teacher. I care. I care because I'm trained to be a mental health professional and I care about how your content affects other people that consume your content or other people that may come across your content in the future who thinks that your eating behaviors are normal or eating on a platter or eating with a large spoon or consuming an entire pizza regardless if you ate the crust or not. So, yes. I do have a problem with your content in some ways. So as much as you think it's not problematic, it's very problematic. And to state that you get thousands of dollars a month for your distorted eating habits gives me more opportunity to report your videos. So thank you for that. And I Teacher. did. Okay, so. I reported why, this what is that? Like, Why are people comparing? So I will give heads up. I did report that. And the, the the point that she made about her eating. I reported it. So we'll see what happens. YouTube is very poor about following through with their terms of service, especially with this type of content. As much as they want to give lip service to everybody that they, especially to their advertisers that they are monitoring and trying to take care of people's health. They're not. They don't care. They don't have this behind a paywall. They don't have it restricted. It's open to everybody. And so... YouTube is also at fault because they uh, allow this person to regain their channel somehow and they have permitted this person to continue to put out content that shows self-injury and eating disordered disorders because she talks about it quite openly in other videos. And so people do report it and keep reporting it to YouTube and YouTube has done nothing about it. So YouTube is, is complicit in this person and their content, in my opinion. And it's really bad on YouTube. It's kind of distasteful. It's uh, somebody wrote something, and I wish I could name the um, person that, I can remember the name of the uh, person who left this in my comments, commented, uh, for YouTube, it's economics over ethics. And it definitely is, because it's very unethical to have this type of content being online, and especially in the way that, she demonstrates the content because she does have disordered eating and they are providing a means for her to pay for it. So yeah, YouTube is complicit with her. Stupid. Get out of here. Mm. Someone whose name is Spartan. Exactly. 
Jobs are personal life are different, exactly. So stupid. I'm a teacher, yeah? And I sit there with an ugly dollar store wig and make fun of how somebody cooks. Or I'm, I'm super petty after hours. Give me a break. Mm. It's, I, I'm always interested in who you pick and choose to criticize. I would like for you to, uh, I would like to debate you one day, Chantal. Why well, I've offered to debate you. I would love to debate you. I would bring you onto my stream yard and debate you. In fact, I would go to your channel. You could be the one in control. Let's have a debate. Let's talk about these topics. I, I'm, I'm interested. I would absolutely do it. Absolutely. I would love to have you call me every name under the sun as you fluster and, you know, get flabbergasted about <laughs> what to say to me. Not flabbergasted, that's not the word. Flustered, flustered. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I'd be interested uh, to to hear your points of view and uh, have you tell me all sorts of things about how I'm, <laughs> you know, criticizing people does not help your argument, I guess is what I'm trying to say. By you putting people down and speaking in a way that makes you look like you're, you know, what, what it's showing to me is you have no... <laughs> ability to cognitively describe how what you you just put people down that's you that's your kind of go-to you can't come up with a more intelligent argument as to why that content is not appropriate you just go straight to the i'm just gonna call these people names and that shows a lack of maturity at the end of the day so it's, you know, interesting to hear somebody being you know, all tough talking and then the type of, you know, response that they make is very childish. It's very, you know, much this sort of combative teenage type rhetoric that's coming from her. Um, very, very stunted in my opinion. So, yeah, doesn't really give you the best <laughs> look, Chantel, and your character. <laughs> But then again, you, you, I don't think you're concerned. And it, it, it's pretty apparent. I know, Rosalia. Yeah, yeah. The spin cycles are really intense. Oh, my, God. <laughs> my washer. No. <laughs> they, uh, I don't know what space. Sounds like the machine's overloaded. That's why it's screaming <laughs> at you, girl. Hey, Sahar. Welcome to Very Important Beasers. Ready, set, please. Yeah. No, it feels like Zachary and Alex. They're nice, nasty. Maybe there's somebody yeah, exactly. to Cunt Bella is selling yeah. nudes. Again, okay, well, that's true. She'll be in trouble by her audience. But she's already a homeless nothing, so I guess she can't get blood from a stone. Actually, her whole address is doxed on the farms. So I have her address. I was gonna, I'm was i working on contacting the police about it. <laughs> and what... It, it, look at the smug face here. <gasps> exactly what are you doing in Kuwait that the Canadian police are going to be interested in? You've not, you've got no power of the police over there. What are you exactly going to do, Chantel? <laughs> Pray tell. What are you going to do? <laughs> Again, it's it's the threats. She she feels that she has no power. So it's making derogatory comments about people. It's threatening to do harm to other people. Are you calling the police? This is somebody who doesn't feel like she's truly in control. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. And then this face says, you know, look at me. I'm going to cause, you know, problems in your life because, you know, that's that I have that type of power. She thinks she has a lot of power. That's interesting. Why would anyone sell them? Like if they're available online, that's so stupid and probably BS. We didn't do, we, I, nobody did that with her. Disgusting news, right? So, yes, free Palestine Paja all the way. Are there revenge porn laws in Kuwait? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Why don't you not worry about that silly piece? I needed some information, so I looked it up and it led me to a farms page. <laughs> She's a, she said highest bidder. She's a wackadoodle. She's trying it so hard to be fucking relevant. She said she's mad because she didn't succeed in breaking your home and marriage. Such a low life. Bingo. Imagine doing that with your life. I'm not worked up. I'm not. If she's really doing that. Well, at least it revealed that your 
partner has some interesting fetishes <laughs> that says a lot about his character. So you were very upset at the time. So as much as you, well, you know, want to put it to a side, I guess you and Salah had come to an agreement about the money because you're his cash. You're his uh, ticket. Um, in my opinion, I don't know. You talk about him working, but he seems to be able to pop into your lives whenever. So yeah, interesting dynamic always, but you know, she's continuing to live the, live the dream out here so and she's gonna defend it at all costs and even if it means having to be vitriolic towards somebody else so it's kind of how she spins in her world the Sh well you know people talk about the Chantal cycle but uh yeah because she's no control that's why she cycles around she's gonna pay she's going to get yeah there's a law in the u.s exactly revenge porn exactly what she's doing doesn't matter if it's blurred out doesn't matter Chantel, you would need to be able to hire an attorney. You would need to bring the case to the U.S. Attorney's Office to have any type of prosecution against her. So it's going to be very expensive for you. So uh, you better get um, some content made so to pay for that. So it's interesting when people try to say these things. Um, good luck with that, Chantel, because it, it would be expensive. And like I said, it's got to get through the U.S. Attorney's Office. Uh, calling a random police station in her hometown is not going to do anything. <laughs> That's an attorney case, a civil suit. I didn't dox anyone, but do you honestly think I give a crap if she gets doxed after what she did? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Disregard for other people. Doesn't matter, Katsy. He wouldn't get flagged. It's not suing. It's a criminal offense. Thank you. Yeah, we're not talking about her. That's what she wants exactly. People with no life, this is what they wait for. Hi, Marbles! <laughs> yeah. This is what... You're going to have to show how it's criminal because you've exposed your own body online multiple times. <laughs> so it would may be potentially difficult to, to show revenge porn. If you've been potentially, I mean, where did she get this stuff from? Unless it's your own content, Chantel, how was she able to find content of you doing those things? I'm just curious. Exactly. I don't watch either that channel. I mean, I have no idea. But uh, I don't think, I. again, she's on a high horse. She's very, she doesn't have control. And this is where she show, tries to show to her audience that she's in control uh, she's got this don't worry about it i can you know she you know it's just when people feel a lack of control they will often act in ways that says quite the opposite like i've got this you know i'm gonna do this to this person and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna destroy their life this way and i'm gonna destroy their life that way without even really focusing on where in her life, maybe her behaviors are problematic. So she focuses a lot on other people um, and not enough focus on just what she's doing. So interesting. Like I said, she'd be very treatment resistant. This is not anybody I would see in a therapeutic way. Obviously, um, she would not want to have any type of um, assistance that way. So anyway. Just speculating. Well, I don't like people like hanging around, with, like interacting with people. Like too many of them are nuts. Keep nasty out of this space. Yeah. Skankzilla. Only a few cents coming that kind of daughter. I swear. It doesn't bug me. Like those super chats about abortion shaming. It doesn't bug me. I don't give a shit at all. It doesn't bug me whatsoever. Bunch oh, of losers what? in chats. <laughs> Murders babies. Oh my God. Thanks for the money. I'd be more upset with my cheating spells than the other person. That's just me. Did I say I wasn't upset? A lot of this conversation you're having is very toxic you're bringing up some really toxic topics very toxic and you're being led by your audience to bring these toxic topics up so you really need to set some boundaries Chantel around the things that you will and will not discuss 
Um, this is why people think your character is not very good because of how you're responding at this time. It shows a lack of maturity. Joel, no, I didn't say that, did I? So, yeah. <laughs> of course I was upset and we're moving on. So really, that's all it should end at. Like it shouldn't be anyone else's business. Yeah, have goons, yeah. If I did have kids, I can tell you I wouldn't be a shit parent like she is. Teaching her kids, like imagine like your kids hearing you bullying fat people. Like, nice parenting you have. You're assuming that the children are exposed to the material the mother puts out online. So that's an assumption, Chantel. <laughs> Making a lot of assumptions today. Okay, a lot of assumptions about people. Yeah, I know, I know. I know flowers on Saturday. <laughs> oh, I said it was admirable that you were able to forgive. Yeah, of course, like based on a lot of things. I already talked about that. I like both HLs, I like lives and recorded videos. Uh, my washing is finally done. <laughs> When the reactors do not get the, the content they like to react on, they get me to start with ugly revenge porn and ugly things. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. She doesn't have custody because when she got her DUI, her kid was in the car with her. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like you have some skeletons. And she has some skeletons in her closet she needs to clean out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. People are just dumb. I don't know. You know what to say. They're so stupid. Very toxic. But anyway. In the mindset. <laughs> Ooh, very unhappy. Yeah, I've made it stronger. She doesn't want to take care of the child. She's like her family takes care of her adult responsibilities. Fueled mm -hmm. by the audience. They're all fueling each other on here. Interesting. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I did have kids, I would be a better parent than you, Hillbilly. Deliverance. Oh, really? Dreaming of Everest? Wow. Well, if it's anything like how you cared for your two cats in Canada, I would assume that um, if that's a sign of your parenting skills, I'm thinking that, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the how you care for yourself, um, I sort of, you know, you don't have children. You can't speak to about other people having children. I think that is a subject you need to not bring into a public platform as somebody's children. That's wrong. It's immature. And it's potentially harmful. So this is where you don't have character, Chantel. Because somebody who was an adult who had character would understand that talking about the person's children is off limits. That's off limits. Okay. You don't bring people's children into anything. So that's very, very poor judgment, in my opinion, on your part. It's not an area or a line that I would want to cross. You're obviously antagonizing this person because you're talking about their children. So you're very aware that you're potent you're causing potentially antagonistic content in order to get a response in these people. And that's what you want to do. That's kind of how you do it. And so it just shows a lack of your maturity. But that's kind of what I'm hearing here. I hear a lot of very immature language. I hear a lot of degrading people. I hear a lot of name calling. And I hear uh, somebody who really does not feel like they're in control. And that's why you're doing all of these things. You know, uh, it's a lack of control. She does not know how to temper how she speaks, what she does, how she appears, how she presents herself. She's She has no ability to do that. Um, and uh, it's clear. Okay, finish this out, Chantel. This is getting long for my audience. Yeah, yeah. Daft Pecan, I'm not the one crazy. I'm not the one who left that super chat. So I'm the crazy one, but that person left the super chat. Okay, I'm saying you're a shit parent. And uh, I would not use terms that are derogatory for mental health. That too, again, disregard for other people, lack of maturity, lack of control. All of this conversation shows she is not in control of anything 
really, especially how she talks about others. She's no no ability to monitor and manage her speech. If you have kids, young kids running around that are impressionable and you're online and making fun of fat women and that's your job being a piece of shit bully, when you could be straight out of the movie Deliverance, no education, redneck trash. Who would marry a woman that calls your children unfortunate looking? Exactly. Yeah. Makes fun of me taking back Salah and working it out with him when it was just a stupid texting thing and whatever. One time ordeal. When you made fun of her kids, how they look. You know what? Are you going to show your kids that or what? Chantel, you needed to get back to Kuwait because you owe so much tax money in Canada. The two of you are using each other and everybody is pretty aware of that particular dynamic in your relationship there's it's it's what can the two of you i mean the two of you kind of catfished each other in some ways and now you're kind of stuck with one another and for whatever reason he's going to stay with you because his he wants to have easy street and you give him easy street sometimes you put him in a car and now he's got a car he can go off and do what he needs to do in kuwait and you get a chance to escape from any responsibilities that you have in Canada. So this gives you a chance to say, I don't have any responsibilities. I don't have responsibilities to my health. I don't have responsibilities to my taxes. I don't have any responsibility of, because you, you're not creating a life in Kuwait. You're on a tourist visa. You're not working there. You have no discernible skills that would be of interest to the government there. If you were an, uh, somebody who was coming in as a as a foreign worker, an overseas worker, so you're kind of living your fantasy life, um, but you're very vitriolic and you're quite angry, and uh, it, that usually is somebody who's not a happy person. Um, her unhappiness is being, you know, and then of course again the, the name calling, uh, trying to degrade people who come from certain parts of the United States. It's, it's very, it's very caustic. It's, it's quite unhealthy. On replay, are you going to show you. them that, that her, that their stepmother made fun of them? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I'm just beaten today. Their anti-abortion bullshit doesn't bug me at all. I don't give a shit. Like people try to like shape you on your past. If it, it's, it's something that happened to me and it doesn't even affect me anymore. How is it going to affect you? You know what I mean? How does anybody <laughs> know this information? Uh, How does anybody know this information other than the fact that you revealed it? There are people who have very strong opinions about abortion. That's their right to have an opinion. You let people know that information. You opened yourself to hearing people's opinions. It's not just... You get to put out your content and you hope that you're just going to have fawning people tell you how wonderful you are and nobody ever actually make any critique of what you're doing. Um, unfortunately, in the world, the internet has become one big global village and it means that people are going to pass judgment, unfortunately. That's why it's so important to be very careful about how you present yourself online. It's very important. I have to think about that in my professional career. How do I present myself online, but also try to call attention to problematic behaviors that I think could be damaging to other people? So I watch these creators, not because I'm interested in their content, but more because of more the cult of personality, the charisma necessarily that came with Chantel. Why do people keep going back and watching her content? And for me, I'm uh, as I said, it must be because there are people who feel validated through her content because they may be struggling with the same disordered eating that she has. Or there are some people that just think that other people who maybe said something about somebody else, they want to go to the opposite side and show support, you know, because you had said something that they thought, well, how dare you criticize this person? Um, now I'm going to be on this person's side because you said something critical. So I can reach the same too, where people have told me, you know, oh, if you were a nurse or you know, a doctor, you would have so much more compassion for this person without really sort of reflecting on maybe why I'm not showing a great deal of compassion to her in some ways. So um, 
Uh, and it's not my job to be compassionate for Chantel. Uh, she's not my patient. She's not anybody I'm working with. For me, she is a personality to be discussed and to see how these types of individuals can be problematic on platforms such as YouTube. So that's where I'm more interested. Um, in her as a person, personally, no. Very little interest. <laughs> Napoleon, who peed in a boot? Hey, Rosemary's baby mama. <laughs> People are, they're just, they're the biggest piles of dog crap on the internet, all of them. <laughs> and Cunt Bella too, you're disgusting. Like, what's your claim to fame that someone wanted to take a shit on you because that's what you are? You're a piece of shit whore? All right then. Yeah, good job. Mm. Hi, Barbara. Okay. All right. It's no... <laughs> can we shift gears into something more positive? Yes, we can. I try to be positive, but yeah. No, nothing about this. About you? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Nothing about this has been positive. I'm sorry. That I just, to, to bring in the toxic positivity, as I call it, is never appropriate. It's just not. <laughs> Chantel, nothing that you have said or done at this moment in 56 minutes has seemed very positive. You seem to be a very unhappy person, in my opinion. And uh, you obviously have a lot on your mind and you're taking it out on others because usually that means that you've got something else going on and you're just taking it out. And now your audience gets to hear it. So how pleasant is that? <laughs> Come to your content and listen to this. Listen to this person calling all these people names, using foul language, um, you know, all the things that YouTube loves. So interesting. Interesting. Like what? I had a girl away. Don't even talk about it. I'm sure Chantal's happy she doesn't have a child with one of her exes. Yeah, I don't regret it. So the human toilet is struggling for relevancy. Human toilet struggling for relevancy. Exactly. Hi, Tracy. Mm. How am I feeling? Um, I'm okay. I'm good. The fact to give that name to somebody just shows your lack of maturity just really shows just who you surround yourself with with your audience as well it's very telling um of your i keep saying character because i'm not sure how else to describe it but it's telling and she gets fueled up by it listen to her, them fueling her up i'm not saying that the reaction channels don't get fueled up either from it but her specifically in this uh stream i don't react to the reaction channels that's you know um, that's, uh, not an area that I go into. I look at just the primary, uh, cult of personality that seems to be followed and, uh, you know, watching a potential, you know, channel that's kind of demising a little bit and how will she manage it when she starts to, you know, continue to be impacted by the loss of income. I'm happy to be hanging with you guys. A flea. Yeah, she is. This isn't good for you. Stop. Yeah. It's not their job to tell you well, these things either. You should, you should be having the awareness to figure that out yourself. Anyway, they're not even worth addressing. They're just crud. You've they addressed to be crapped on, basically. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, why do you love Salah? Because he takes good care of me in like every way. I literally feel like a queen, a princess when I'm here with him. On your money, <laughs> on your dime, girl. On your dime. You dad, you never met just on mine. <laughs> a bonus daughter, yeah. When you were a kid, what did you want to do when you grew up? I wanted to be so many things, so many things. I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be a singer. You know. But what did you actually work towards? Not really. What did you work towards as a child? And what skills or what did you do to try to fulfill any of these things? I mean, all kids talk about stuff like that when they're five or six. But I mean, once you reach the more formative years, what did you work towards? Obviously, YouTube wasn't around then because, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I guess my YouTube, I don't know. <laughs> Joker? Oh, my goodness. Get get along, girl. Me. Let's finish it up. Everybody's going to watch all of this on my channel. What does that have to do with anything? Do I sit there, Hamburglar, and judge others? No, I'm I'm defending myself. All right. I'm not the one who has hate channels about other people. So 
Yeah. And I do do my housework. <clears throat> I did all day. You guys were just complaining about my washer. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, exactly, babe. Let's just live in bees. My head wrap is getting Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> if you could live your dreams, where would you be in 12 months, Sarah Smith? I would be traveling everywhere. I want to travel. Be kind of be like a with your health. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to have to work towards your health, time, baby. This reason brought her baby daddy up on panel to ask if he thinks Breezy's skinnier than foodie. You have to be kidding. Wow. Yeah, I know. I'll church Yes, green grapes. We're going to bees. Mm. That's kind of a dumb question, to be honest. Mm. Malaysia? Um, I don't know. We haven't really, like, we're deciding still. It's going to be a surprise anyways, but <laughs> water's around Greece. Yeah, yeah. That's good. We love surprises. <laughs> I love NT with your wife. Why should he have to answer that to you? You're a stranger on the internet. Like, why should he answer why he loves me? I know why he loves me. He doesn't have to answer to anybody. No, my washer's not broken. That's how it sounds when it's on spin cycle. Um, they said she's like Shirazi, which is like supposed to be Persian, but I mean people are getting deleted. Yeah, just delete people. <laughs> Losing all that engagement, Chantel. That's not good for your channel. So weird. I can't. <laughs> She's all worked up today. Mr. Snowflake released his vids, of course. Kind of hot, probably not as, yeah, nowhere as hot as Kuwait. Maybe someday. This long video is going to kill my algorithm. That's fine. I don't care if I don't have any chat left. I have uh, all the good people will remain. That's fine by me. <laughs> my next mukbang, it's going to be out later. So it's a surprise. Mm. A Sphinx cat. Oh, <laughs> they're very clingy or what? Awesome. I got more things to report to YouTube about disordered eating with your channel so i look forward to that i'll see what type of problematic language you use like i hope you're feeling hungry hot honey chicken <laughs> and he made fun of it dreaming of everest that was embarrassing nice hot tea i would hang out with you guys for sure okay i have to go to the bathroom so i'm probably gonna get off and i have to go you have to go put my stuff in the dryer yada 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 prepare my mukbang which means I have to cook it. If you notice when it she, hold on. Yes. Ah, sorry, I keep hitting the wrong thing. You might have noticed when she, she talked about doing the housework, she rolled her eyes. <laughs> she does not enjoy the responsibility. <laughs> she does not enjoy the responsibility of the home at all. All right, finish this out, girl. Elemental P. You are talking. I there's anywhere I can't travel. I could travel anywhere. I just Not necessarily. Travel, so I don't care if I'm fat either. I'm going to anyways. You too, Lanky. <laughs> um, Arab husbands are the best and so loving and treat you like a princess. It's true. Mine is the best man. Alhamdulillah, Eid Mubarak. Same to you, Nicolina. Yes, exactly. Husband roll. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, 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 baby. My boss, my best beautiful wife. Uh, <laughs> BBW, best beautiful wife. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, she actually, you know, look at her. She looks so happy because he came in and said that with such passion. <laughs> On cue. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. I'm glad he makes you feel good. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. But uh, obviously the relationship is an interesting dynamic. He doesn't often look comfortable when he's with her. So it's, he, you know, most people would want to come over and, you know, peck the wife on the head or whatever. I don't know. He calls her potato face or something, which is very derogatory. I think. Our washer sounds like an airplane. I would not want to be called a potato. How long have you had that washer? For like many years, eh? <laughs> yeah, four years ago. Uh, it works very well, though. Yeah, I put it fit the comforter inside. I didn't think it would, but I put the comforter in. Oh my goodness. And one of that thing sounded like an airplane. Girl, that means your machine was straining. Anytime you hear a washing machine making a sound like an airplane, that means your washing machine is unhappy. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know how long that wash is gonna last with Chantel managing <laughs> the washing. We know she struggles with being an adult. Those usual large items are much better at a, a commercial uh, laundry mat. I have one really big uh, quilt that uh, 
I'm not a fan of using a commercial laundromat, but there's one that I know that's pretty well kept clean. There's always staff there. It's not my favorite thing to do, um, but uh, I do use it because it would not fit in my machine and it would pretty much break my uh, washing machine and they're not cheap. So yeah, yeah, usually those things are not, unless you have those really big washers. But I got a condo washer, so I can't do that. All right, keep going, Chantel. You make so me very serious. Yeah. All right, guys. Hi, Lisa. Just getting off. Thanks for your talk. Thank you, Mods, for your services. And um, yeah, when, we'll, I'll be again. Maybe maybe even later, later. Oh, no, it's eight. We'll see. But we'll be more positive, yeah. Mm, um, that's not possible. You've had two big videos yeah. come out today. I think your mood's going to Oh, Lisa, I know I didn't bad. see it. <laughs> Hi, Silly. <laughs> it's open. My eye broke. <laughs> oh, yeah. I missed it all. Sorry, Rosemary's. No, it's not Brenda. Binge. Mm. What's this about binge? You said it's not going to be a binge? Oh, well, I guess we'll need to see. But it's always interesting when you use this language because that gives me more to keep a record of in order to monitor your content. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> <I'm> waiting. <laughs> Trying to finish it out. Viewer from Gaza, how many more supporters? I'm curious always to see how she finishes it out. Hi, Sahar. Thank you for subscribing. You can message me. Sahar. Mm. Somebody Sahar. subscribed. Sahar. Mm. Sahar. Not Sahar. Not, not Ki H. No, it's Sahar. Sahar. Yes, almost. Mm. Okay. Well, for <laughs> the right. feather, right. you can't, can't right. stop them. Yeah. We're going to keep encouraging yeah, her as long as I can. As long as the content's here. Yeah, I know. I can't say it. <laughs> as long as YouTube continues to permit this content, then she's going to keep getting people who are um, probably not dissimilar. I've said it a thousand times, but you know what I mean. I don't want to be a repetitive bore. <laughs> Amanda Davies, yes. Please help spread. Yes, of course. Okay, guys, I gotta go like really bad. You know what I mean? So, thank you for being here. I'll see you guys. Thanks, guys, for being and uh, see you <laughs> in the next one. Bye. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of done. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let me just finish this out real quick. Um, thank you, guys. It's got long. I, like I said, if I had live streamed this, it would have been five hours. <laughs> and then I would have been done. So I thought to myself, should I live stream? And then I was like, oh, my gosh. It would go on for a long time. Just because I know I'm a chatter. <laughs> anyway, if you did like this type of content, I always encourage people to subscribe to the channel. We hit 31 what? 3,100 subs today. So I do really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. And as always, I do want to thank my, my members who have uh, stayed with me and continue to encourage me to create content. And uh, just thank you all for your support. It's very much appreciated. Thank you guys for that. Thank you. Thank you.